Welcome to another episode of Old Line Watches. With you as always is me, Jeremy, your old man from the old line state of Maryland. Today we are doing a review of the Sal Baltimore Legacy 36 Steel Raven Purple colorway. Ooh, very pretty. As we do at the start of every review, we'll take a moment to thank a few subs. Today is all things Tibby, Peter, and Timepiece Attorney. Cool name. Today's wrist check is going to be the RLG, formerly Richard Legrand. It's the Odyssey, no date, diver. This thing is so pretty. All right. Be sure to check the description for a link to where you can get this beautiful timepiece, as well as a link to our current giveaway, which is going to be for a Primo Pagani Design Rolex Daytona homage. Also in the description will be any uh, affiliate links, coupon codes, or other such goodies that I may find in my travels among the watch world and the internet. All right, so uh, let's... Uh, Turn it around and check this puppy out. All right, let's dive into some stats and specs. We got here today the Sal Baltimore Legacy 36 in the Steel Raven colorway. Its diameter is, creatively enough, 36 millimeter. Diameter, including the crown, is 38.8. Has a lug to lug of 43.3, .3, nice and compact. End link to end link is the same because it has the female end links there. We got a lug width of 18 that narrows down to 16. Unit thickness of 12.2 mil and sized for my six and three quarter inch wrist weighs in at 117.1 grams. Powered by a slightly modified Miyota 9015 movement. We'll get into the modification later encased and braceleted in 316 stainless steel with straight brushing there we go some straight brushing across the case around the bezel with some nice polished bits there along the chamfers and around the edge of the bezel there this also features these kind of ribs, sidelines, I don't know what you want to call it, but it gives a nice swoop to the case to complement all the angular stuff. It's a, it's a very cool design and I rather like it. It features double domed sapphire crystal with anti-reflective undercoating. And crown, signed and loomed, is 5.9 millimeter. It is push-pull. case back <clears throat> the case back has an impressive set of stat lines on it here limited edition 18 of 100 sapphire crystal south baltimore legacy 36 automatic water resist 200 meter with a push pull crown i'm a little skeptical but hey what do i know and the favorite part product design assembled and established in Baltimore, Maryland. Yeah. And this is what I mean modified. The rotor has been modified to feature the Maryland flag and the Sal Baltimore name. The bracelet features solid end links with quick release. Single link style gives nice flexibility with the smaller links push pin sized featuring a butterfly clasp nicely made nicely milled with the sal baltimore wings there no micro adjust but these are relatively small links so finding a good fit is not that difficult and the beautiful star of this show is a well-made sandwich dial with arabics at the 3 9 and 12 wedge indices all around otherwise 
filled with a C3 Super Luma Nova. We got Sal printed up at 12 o'clock. Automatic water resist 200 down above the uh, date wheel there. The minute track features one fifths of a second. It's got a chapter ring with Arabics at the fives all the way around and a little red triangle at the 12 to match with the second hand and the automatic printing there to provide a little popo color. But I'm here and you're here for this Fume dial. Look at that. Like there ain't nothing, nothing that looks as good as that purple does. Oh my goodness. The hands are also filled with C3 Super Luminova and a little, little tiny pip of it right there on the second hand. And there it is, popping like it's on a pogo stick. Super, super cleanly legible. I bet I could read by this thing. There it goes. That's what I wanted to see. Look at that. Yeah. There you can see it's running two to three seconds per day. Strong amplitude, zero beat error. That's what happens when the micro brands make sure that those movements are running smooth before they leave. And there it is. Size nicely on my six and three quarter inch wrist. So you can see it sits very nicely. Not disproportionate at all, even though at 36 millimeter, you get a lot of uh, really creative people going, nice watch, does it come in a man size? Yeah. Don't let anyone ever watch shame you. That shit's not cool. I mean, that bleep's not cool. All right, now, props and slops. Props, this size, doing a 36 mil run, fairly brave in this day and age still, even though the whole going super crazy on the size has kind of ended as a fad. Thank you, Invicta. Oh, there I am watch shaming people. Not okay, not okay, Jeremy. It fits incredibly well. The bracelet is very supple and flexible and sits very nicely on the wrist. It's got the cool case and the amazing dial. Oh yeah. With as much of a Sal fanboy as I am, you gotta wonder, What's Jeremy going to do for the slops? Is he going to have anything negative to say? Yes. Yes, he is. See this chapter ring right here? I know you can see it. It is a thief. It is a dirty, dirty thief that has taken away valuable real estate from that glorious dial. And it doesn't need to be there. The only reason it's there at all is because this used to be in different legacy models, the larger ones, an inner rotating bezel with a crown up here to control it. Well, there's no crown. There's no inner rotating bezel. Get rid of this chapter ring. Oh, this would have been so much better with a, that extra real estate with more awesome dial. But it's not enough to make me hate the watch by any measure, so... I'm sticking with it. So that has been the beautiful Sal Baltimore Legacy 36. Hope you enjoyed the show. I know I did. And this is the part where I humbly appeal to you to please the YouTube algorithm gods with likes and comments and subscribes and bell icons and all that stuff. But... Keep watching, I'll keep making them. I'm obviously not doing this for money. <laughs> All right, well, take care of yourselves, take care of each other. Until next time, this has been Jeremy, your old man from the Old Line State, signing off.